Hi everyone, Donut here. Today we're going to be talking about the shooting death of Thurman Blevins by the Minneapolis Police Department. On Saturday, June 23rd, an anonymous caller called 911 reported that there was a man outside firing a handgun. The anonymous caller provided a very good description of the man who was firing the handgun, including his clothing and what he looked like. A second call came in shortly after stating that, hey, there's a guy outside, he's firing a gun off into the ground and into the air, and he looks like he may be intoxicated. There's a guy walking around, he's shooting off his gun. And he looked intoxicated, and um, that's just not safe around here. Dude, he started running off shots, and that's why everybody started running away. Like, man, this dude jumped, man. He's got to move around before he shoots somebody. The caller also said that the person shooting the gun off was carrying a silver 9mm handgun. Now, describing a gun in detail like this is a good indicator that the caller actually did see a gun. This means that the police who are dispatched there are probably going to be on high alert because there could possibly be a drunk man shooting a gun. On the report of an intoxicated male walking around shooting a gun into the air. Two Minneapolis police officers were dispatched to the scene and using the very detailed information they got from the two callers, they were immediately able to locate Blevins. Before the two officers could even exit their patrol car to talk to Blevins, one of them says he has a gun. The lead officer who's driving jumps out, says put your fucking hands up, and the chase is on. He's got a bottle of gin. Okay. Black tank top, tapered hair. Yeah. He's got a gun. Put your fucking hands up! Stop! 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 Put your fucking hands up! Just put your hands up! What? I will fucking shoot you! What? What? Stop! My legs are, come on, man! Come on, man! Put your hands up! I didn't do nothing, bro! You got a gun, motherfucker! No! Yes, you do! It's right there! Put it down! It's right there! It's right there! Put it down! It's right there! I will fucking shoot you! Show me, man! Put your hands up! A spent shell casing was found by Blevins' body, but the reports that I'm reading about this part are all over the place. The union rep is saying that yes, he did fire his gun, while some reports are saying no, he didn't fire his gun. Reports state that both officers feared for their lives and they didn't fire until they saw Blevins raising the gun towards them. The officer who was in the lead during the foot chase had this to say to reporters. I'm thinking in my head, every time he slows down that he's going to do it. Every time he slows down and turns and looks at me, I think that's the time he's going to just pull it straight up and then start shooting me. In total, during the foot chase, officers gave him 20 commands. They ended up firing 14 bullets between the two of them, and four of those shots fatally struck Blevins. You could also look at this like, well, there's a drunk guy who's already been firing shots. Now he's running from the police. What are the chances he's running to take cover? What are the chances he's going to take a hostage? What are the chances that he's going to run down the road and endanger more people? One of my most popular videos on this channel is about a guy who had fired some shots and he was walking away with his gun in his hand and officers didn't take him down, so he ended up taking a hostage. Put the gun down, man. Put it down. Drop the gun. Fortunately, Greg can shoot very well and he was there to handle the situation. One of the it turns out that Blevins wasn't even supposed to have a gun. He was a felon with multiple convictions. This also wasn't Blevins' first attempt at fleeing from police. He's twice faced charges of fleeing from officers, once in 2008 and once in 2012. Most recently, in 2015, he was charged with assaulting a police officer. Within the past few days, it has been determined that the two officers involved in this shooting will not be charged. One Minneapolis civil attorney stated that it is just outrageous that people would attempt to justify the shooting death of this man. The police should have found a way to de-escalate the situation. So what I want from you guys is just to let me know in the comments below if the 
officers could have de-escalated a situation where there's a drunk man who had already been firing a gun who's a felon running from police. Who pointed a gun at police? Despite the overwhelming evidence that the police officers had a pretty good reason to fear for their lives, there have still been protests. <laughs> and one lady was assaulted at one of the protests today. It looks like she tried to rip up a sign. As I said, just let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Do you think the police officers could have done anything to de-escalate the situation when they jumped out of the car? Do you think they did the best they could and they gave him many, many chances to just stop and put his hands up? Let me know what you think in the comments below, everyone. I'm going to be at twitch.tv slash donut operator when this video is released. So come hang out. We can discuss it even further. And there are a lot of incidents today I, I would like to discuss as well. Please have a fantastic day.